Hi, this is Ted Shu, your Member of Parliament for Kingston and the Islands. Welcome to The Local View on TV Koji Co. How often do we think about the roof over our heads and how important that is for us to kind of get our body and mind and spirit together every morning to, to face the world? Adequate housing is, is a very important uh, human need and it's something that's uh, important for fighting poverty, for fighting social exclusion that comes with poverty, and uh, for health and dignity. Uh, with me today to talk about uh, people who are at risk uh, of homelessness or people uh, and, and um, affordable housing in Kingston uh, are Tom Greening, who is the Executive Director of Homebase Housing here in Kingston, and Brittany Taylor, who is a board member of Homebase Housing. Thanks very much for being on the show today. I thought I'd just uh, start out uh, and, and ask you, uh, what is Homebase Housing for those uh, viewers who don't know? Uh, Ted, home-based housing has uh, changed a lot over the last 25 years. Um, we have five programs today uh, that operate uh, independent of one another, yet they're closely connected. Uh, going back uh, 25 years ago, uh, in the city of Kingston, front page news was um, dealing with issues of people who appeared to be homeless on Princess Street. At the time, uh, the mayor of Kingston, uh, John Gerritsen, uh, formed the Mayor's Task Force on Homelessness and a number of different organizations and businesses got together, uh, looked at the issues, looked at uh, what would be helpful to help uh, resolve some of those uh, homelessness issues. Uh, and out of that, home-based housing was born. So again, that was uh, 25 years ago. And we started off as a supportive housing program that was for single adults, men and women, uh, who were homeless or at risk of homelessness. And uh, uh, over time, we've um, uh, grown the uh, amount of housing that we actually uh, own. Uh, and we provide support services to those single adults who live in our houses. But it's become a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. um, again, through uh, different uh, um, opportunities uh, and events that have occurred over the last 25 years, uh, we now operate uh, two of the city's six emergency shelters. So we operate uh, Lily's Place Family Shelter. Mm -hmm. That's a 14-bed shelter for families, often with children. Uh, we also operate uh, the Inn from the Cold Shelter. Uh, which is the city's largest emergency shelter for single adults, men mm -hmm. and women. Uh, occasionally, youth stay there as well. Um, the third program at Home Base Housing is the Housing Help Center, which is a real umbrella of services that deal with affordable housing, eviction prevention issues, a whole host of things that mm -hmm. are really helpful to the broader community. The fourth program at Home Base Housing, one which I know uh, Brittany has a certain passion for, is our youth services program. Mm -hmm. uh, so 20 years ago, uh, we uh, created the Youth Services Program that provides affordable housing and counseling and support services specifically for youth who've been homeless or were certainly at risk of being homeless. So we're okay. very proud of that. And then the fifth program is really the core program where we started. That's our supportive housing program, mm -hmm. single adults who've been homeless, and we provide uh, housing opportunities with support for those people. Okay. Home-based housing, we actually have 19 different properties around the city. Mm -hmm. um, and about three or four years ago, uh, there was concern about our in from the cold shelter. So we were operating out of a basement of an old church at 426 Barry Street. Uh, it was one large room, 1,600 square feet, 24 people would sleep there at night. Um, probably six to eight people would sleep on the floor on mats. We had one shower, two very tiny bathrooms. The laundry and kitchen were in the same room where people slept. And it became apparent that really uh, this was not adequate, uh, an adequate shelter. So we started uh, three and a half years ago to try to find a new home for the in from the cold. And uh, it's taken us that long to locate what we think is the ideal property at 540 Montreal Street. Uh, back in April, uh, we moved into that new home. So the in from the cold is now in modern, well-equipped facilities, mm -hmm. uh, which we'll talk about maybe a little bit uh, later in the show. Uh, we've moved our administrative offices in there. We've added mm -hmm. uh, new affordable housing on the north end of the property. The Housing Help Center is now co-located there. And one of our sister organizations whom we work really closely with, the Independent Living Center of Kingston, uh, is also in the building with us. And so a lot of people are able to come in and use the services of the Independent Living Center and Housing Help Center, whatever other services we offer at home-based housing. Mm -hmm. So that's 540 Montreal. It's been a, quite a long journey to uh, find the property, rehabilitate it, convert it back into uh, from industrial, commercial into uh, residential mm -hmm. and office space. Right. So that's uh, our new headquarters, Montreal and Joseph Street. We're really proud of it. It's been working uh, tremendously well. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we're in 18 other locations around the city. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brittany, you're on the board of uh, home-based housing. 
how did that come about and, and what's your connection <laughs> with, with home-based housing? Um, so I moved out, Ted, when I was about 17 mm -hmm. uh, in the year 2009. I found home base kind of by fluke and moved in and since then like I've had to go back to them and I'll be moved I moved out at the end of April and what happened was last year at the annual general meeting uh, Bill Dobson had gotten up on stage and was talking about home base and you know some boring number stuff and yeah. things like Bill that. Is, Bill is the chair of the board. Yes, yeah. yes sorry Bill Dobson is the chair of the board. Yeah. Um, and I just decided like right then and there that I really just wanted to get involved and wanted mm -hmm. to make a difference in my community, I wanted to give back to the people who had helped me through rough mm -hmm. times. And so I approached Tom and I approached Bill and I asked if I could, you know, shook their hands and asked if I could sit on their board and, you know, I did the three meetings, you know, of kind of, okay, should I be here or do I fit in, things like mm -hmm. that. And then I got uh, inaugurated. And I guess to the mm -hmm. board. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, during a, a moving board mem a board meeting. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Maybe it, this, this might be uh, uh, hard to answer, but uh, how is the board of home based housing different with you on it? Well, I am the youngest member mm -hmm. um, in history of home base mm -hmm. to be on the board, and. I feel like I bring youthful exuberance and enthusiasm to the board, whereas they'd probably be pretty dry without me. Oh, so. that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> but you certainly do bring uh, a lot of energy and passion on topics, especially uh, youth-focused topics, I find. Okay. Yeah. Well, can you tell me a little bit about the youth services, uh, Brittany? What, I mean, what's, what's something that's uh, particularly valuable f from your point of view? Uh, youth services, it <clears throat> helps a lot. Now there's different properties that they have besides the uh, the one on Kings Court Avenue, which is Rise. Um, there's obviously other properties that are unable to be mentioned because they're safe houses. Mm -hmm. But that's that's another benefit of home bases use services is that they have those houses that aren't publicly known mm -hmm. to be home based houses. Like they just look, you know, if you were to drive by any one of these houses, you would right. see. If you saw people outside, you would just think it's a just a general student house. Mm -hmm. That's what they look like, which is a big benefit for people who are trying to get off the streets, get away from, you know, abusive ex-partners or, you know, people coming after them, parents, family, you know, they're scared and things like that. Um, they're drug-free and alcohol-free, which is mm -hmm. really good for people who are trying to beat addictions. Mm -hmm. um, there's different levels of staff support at different the different uh, houses within the youth services program, uh, and then the staff are very good at putting youth where they feel they can um, be successful. Okay. So if a youth doesn't need as much support from a right. staff member, they may move them to a different location where there's less staff support, but the staff are still there occasionally. Okay. So for a young per person who's left home for one reason or another, it's uh, it's really a haven, an oasis, because otherwise you wouldn't yeah, it know really where, where you could go or where it would be safe to go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It really does do a lot of good. Um, in the programs themselves, they teach us cooking skills, they teach us life skills, they teach us, you know, cleaning skills, um, you know, how to do laundry for some kids who've never done laundry before. Mm -hmm. And just, um, you know, sometimes they'll do outings, like last year we went to... Uh, Lemoyne's Point and went for a hike and learned about nature and different things that like you know kids wouldn't normally have gotten to do mm -hmm. in other circumstances. Okay, you've been watching The Local View with Ted Shu on TV Kojiko. We've been talking about home base housing and the uh, issue of affordable housing in Kingston. Uh, it's been great to hear uh, the perspective uh, from home base housing. Uh, it's been great to hear about the youth uh, services that home base mm -hmm. housing provides and kind of putting that in the perspective of the bigger picture uh, for affordable housing in Kingston and the, you know, the city's plan and how yeah. things will look uh, as we go forward over the next 10 years or so. Okay. So thanks very much for joining me. It's been great to have you. Thank you for yeah. having us. Thanks, Ted. Bye now. Bye.